sun's peeking through. Oh, this is going to be special. This is going to be so cool. This is one of my favourite spots in, in the whole city. And it's a bit windy too. So this, what we're coming up, coming up to now is Palmer Head. This is what we're looking at. We made it to the bunker. From construction in 1933 to 1960, where they were written off, the bunkers here at Palmer Head had three six-inch guns in them and searchlights, probably to keep an eye on the sky, keep an eye on the sea during World War II. Now, some of it's underground, some of it's buried, some of it's been demolished. This is what's left, and as you can tell, someone's done a fantastic paint job on it. But obviously, now it's decommissioned, so they're not really using it. And this pole here is the only thing that's of use here anymore. And this is a, a pole, um, and it's the Civil Aviation Authority's pole. So if you've got any questions about that, ask them. This is one of my favorite spots in the whole of Wellington. And it's probably one of about nine different military heritage sites in the, in the city. But the thing I love most about this, maybe not this, but what we can photograph, is we've got the whole of the South Coast out here. You can see right down to Kaikoura and the southern ranges. On the other side, you've got uh, the other side, Wairarapa, South Wairarapa, um, and the Cook Strait. And we just get the best sunsets here. It's a freaking banger. Almost every time there's a decent sunset. Almost. The other thing I love about this spot, and it's probably one of the only spots on the south coast where this happens, is that you can actually see north, all the way over to Kofarafara, the other side of the harbour, and then where it splits to go to Kapiti Coast and Hutt Valley too. Primo views, and great for aviation spotting. 10 out of 10 recommend. Oh, did my hammy climbing up there. The higher up we get here, the windier it gets. It's a Wellington thing. Just over here is the best view. So now we're on the roof of the main bunker, the main building. We're gonna climb up here, we're gonna see what's good. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. This is what it's all about. <laughs> yeah, top of the world. Oh, so sweet. Look at that.
bunker is accessible by bus or by driving. It's only 15 minutes from the CBD. You can cycle if you want, but it's gonna be an uphill trek. Walking is only 250 meters from the road to the bunker, and the lookout is not accessible by wheelchair or stroller. Be careful though, because there's broken glass, steep paths, and cliff edges close by. And with that, the sun sets, and it's time to go home. Inside with three six inch guns. Massive things. That one. And searchlights to keep keep an eye on the south coast. Probably the sky and the skeets. Sky and the skeet. So 